Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Robert Buter and today we're going to be talking about the most glamorous subject on earth, spinal hygiene. Stunt, I know. Let me ask you a question. Do you see a dentist regularly? Do you brush your teeth regularly? Why do you do those things? Probably because you're, you know, want to have clean, healthy teeth. You want to make sure that your teeth look good and you want to make sure that they stay that way for the remainder of your life. Now, why don't people do that for their spine? Probably the simple answer is because most people don't know why and most people don't know how. So let's go with the first question. Why should I look after my spine? Why is spinal hygiene so damn important? Well, let's look at it like this way. In our today's modern lifestyle, we don't really live how our bodies are designed to live. What I mean by that is, realistically, we shouldn't be spending as much time indoors or sitting down or, or traveling the way we do. Even wearing shoes can be a stress. The reason for that is because you know, our lives have evolved and we have all these things that make it easy for us. But if we go back to when we were a caveman, then that's the sort of lifestyle that we should be living while being health. Now, not really feasible in today's society. So because of our unnatural lifestyle, we start to have issues. So your spine acts like a suit of armor. It protects your brainstem and your spinal cord. And down the sides of the spine, there are a bunch of little holes. These holes are called foramina. And out of those foramina come all your spinal nerves. They branch off the spinal cord. Now, the, spinal, um, the spine needs to act and move naturally. It needs to be in alignment so that it can work correctly. Now, unfortunately, what can happen is that just like the medieval knight was going into battle with a suit of armor, Sometimes a suit of armor cannot work correctly. Now, if you were that medieval knight, would you want to be going into battle with a suit of armor that doesn't work correctly? No. Why not? Probably because you'd die. And that's exactly what can happen to you with, with, with a spine that doesn't work properly. The reason for that is because your spinal nerves will slowly get choked more and more and more and more over the years. And you will slowly lose health and you will slowly not be able to function at the highest level anymore. So that's why we need spinal hygiene, and that's why spinal hygiene is important. So how do we perform spinal hygiene? What should we be doing? Well, the simple answer is that there's four main exercises that we can do. We can do a pelvic strengthening exercise, we can do spinal hygiene exercise one, spinal hygiene exercise two, and spinal hygiene exercise three. All of them are on my website, all of them are available for you to watch, and they will make a real difference with looking after your spine. So I encourage you to go and have a look, and I encourage you to perform the exercises on a daily basis. Looking after your spine is absolutely vital. But there is one step that I haven't spoken about, and that is seeing a chiropractor. Now, look, I'm a bit biased on this because I am a chiropractor, but everyone should be seeing a chiropractor on a regular basis. Just like you would see a dentist, you should go see a chiropractor. Because if there are misalignments, if there are parts of the suit of armor that aren't working correctly, the chiropractor can work on those, can help them move correctly, which will help your nerve system function at a much higher level. So I hope you today uh, enjoyed day 11. Have a great day, everyone.